Okay, hello and welcome back to Land Rover Toolbox videos. Right, so modern electrical uh, terminals, as you can see, are, uh, they come in a wide variety. Once upon a time, you'd get specialist tools for a workshop to uh, crimp terminals and put them back into terminal blocks. As you can see, this is, tool is about 20 years old already, and it's already a dinosaur. We did at one time use uh, insulated crimp terminals, and these are, well, they look quite amateurish when you crimp them. However, they are very widely used. I use this one for crimping heat shrink terminals most of the time now. Otherwise, the, uh, the tool is actually quite redundant. So um, this has been a good friend. It's done a lot of wiring work. Now, this one here is non-insulated terminal type crimper. And of course, because it's non-insulated, it has a different jaws. I'm sure you know all about these uh, terminals and we've all used them in the past, haven't we? This is one of my favorite terminals. However, I've never had a crimping set to do these until recently. And now I have, it has insulated flag terminal jaws on it. Um, anyway, these good friends can um, almost be retired now. I just put them back out of the way. What I have to do this sort of terminal, because there are so many varied types of terminals in blocks, is a decent crimper set. Now, with the terminals, of course, you get the terminal blocks, which you need tools to remove the pins. However, I'm pretty sure you've seen these before somewhere on Land Rovers. Here's one, which is a TD5 a crank sensor um, terminal block or the plug. And this one is the um, fuel tank sender unit. And you'll notice it has a waterproof fittings in it. This will stop um, ingress of dirt into the terminals, or it should do. Now, this is a side marker terminal plug, which plugs into the back of a light. As you can see, it has a um, fitting or the um, part of the terminal will hold the weatherproof rubber fitting, which fits in the back of the terminal and you click it into place. And basically this is, well, you know, you've seen them on your vehicle, haven't you? Um, this is just a common as muck these days, but of course they come in varying sizes. Now, Sealy, they do a kit, and I've got to apologise for the mess here. Um, the terminals that you get are so variety, uh, such a variety that you now need a, a versatile tool. Now this, I've probably seen it before, you have a different a terminal jaws. Now I have a kit with uh, five different fittings in it. And these five are the ones I commonly use now at work. And I've only just acquired this kit. But the Delphi Weather Pack, for instance, you can see it has a, a rubber blue fitting on it. Or I think this is nitrile or neoprene. Um, basically, they have a wider end part. As you can see here, this one doesn't have because it's for a, a ECU terminal block. However, this one is for an external plug. So you, you get the idea of what I'm talking about. Basically... These things have to be crimped up properly. And you can see here how the crimpers crimped the wires into place and held the rubber in place. So the jaws have to be made um, so they will especially accommodate for these terminals like so. It's not rocket science. As long as you know which size you need, you can then go ahead and crimp your wires to the terminal and then push them back into the block. Paddocks do a tool which is a crimping set with two different heads on it and a, a load of the terminals and this we made a video of ages ago. Now if you look carefully at the crimping tool, um, it's not a million miles away from this one and I wouldn't be surprised if the heads are exactly the same or the tool isn't exactly the same but I can't tell for 100%. However, Sealy, you don't buy a full kit, or you can buy a full kit, which is actually um, quite expensive. But you can also buy each one of these dual kits individually. So if you know which terminals you have, you can buy the ratchet crimpers and then get the heads to fit. And even get a storage case, which is about, well, I paid £15 for mine because I get a discount for um, staff members. But basically, here you go. This is all the terminals you have, flag terminals, etc. And I think I've already told you that I haven't got the full set. I've only got the ones that I commonly use, which are uh, five of them. And these are sufficient for what I use. Uh, however, if ever I need uh, more fittings, then I can just go ahead and order them. And uh, this will cover basically the whole range of terminals that are used these days on vehicles. 
So I would class this as a very good tool. I'm not keen on Sealy, however, they've come up with a bit of a Brahma here. 